Beautiful job overall. I think you play with a beautiful sound, and I think you have a very strong sense of the the style and the the nature of the piece. There are there are just some details, just some details that I, I think I can help you with tonight. Okay, so let let's begin with with the the third thing I mentioned, contrast. Um, so the beginning. Big vibrato, forte, the ending, piano, no vibrato, very different. Can I hear you start? The, that was that was such a different ending, and it was it was so um, it was so clearly a transformation from what you just showed us with the beginning. That was much better. Hmm. Perfect. I the, you may not need it at this level because the Muzinski is so uh, consistent, but this is very helpful when you start playing more complicated music. I knew this was going to come back. It's all about, because, because I, think, um, I think your oral cavity is good. I think, I think your voicing and your flexibility here is good. This has to be strong. Mm. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you translate Lily and then I'm gonna uh, show him. Yeah, so you start uh, Keep the air going and slow down. So if you need to stay on palm key D for a long time before you find the fingerings, um, that's okay. The rest of the exercise is just to do the same thing, but move up chromatically. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so next would be E flat major crossing over to front F. Right. Slow down. I can't. I can't slow down. If you are strong here, then you can play against the the resistance. Mm. Those high notes. Bravo! Excellent job today. He said you're very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. My pleasure. I'm so glad you asked. I mean, I'll I'll get to know everyone a lot more tomorrow night. I didn't start playing with a with a flat chin and corners forward until my senior year of my undergrad. <sighs> So I would have been 21, very late. And it was, it was heartbreaking because it really is a, a fundamental change in how your face meets the saxophone. Um, what I found I needed to do because I, I was so, uh, so old when I had to change, I had to use a mirror. I thought I was making the correct embouchure. Um, I have, I have several things to say about this, but like, I thought I was making the correct embouchure and then I'd look in the mirror and I wasn't. I was, of course I was doing what I had been doing since I was 10 years old and started the saxophone. Your, your body wants to go back to what is comfortable, even if it's not what you intend for it to do. That's why I know you guys talked about muscle memory with Tim, like, you know, it takes a long time to train your body to do what you want it to do. <laughs> if you look at a picture of Claude DeLong, I know it's very extreme, but the dude could lift up a car with the corners of his face. I'm, I'm confident of it. Um, I, I find that I actually have to be much stronger than just enough to be making a seal around the mouthpiece. And so from the outside, you might look fine, but if your tone has fuzziness, if you go flat when you play loudly, for the love of all things good, you know, <laughs> revisit this concept. It'll, it'll help you tremendously. <laughs>